<clears throat> so my phone is a piece of crap. Anyways, um, I wanted to say welcome to all the new subscribers. Welcome back to the old subscribers. I hope everyone is doing well. This um, six planets in your Mercury retrograde are maybe it's not Mercury. Anyway, six planets in retrograde. Mom astrologer. Don't quote me. Don't get mad if I say it wrong. Either way, we're all going through some bullshit. Especially if you're a water sign and an earth sign at this moment. So um, the main focus should be on healing. I'm going to do a few cards because some of us need to hear some things. Anyways, so these are the cards that came out. We have vibration, sincere relationships, commit to happiness, and alternative. I'm going to read these really quick. Oh, P.S. My $20 special for my readings only goes for four more days. If you would like to take advantage of that, please email me at acassiahempill795 at gmail.com and um, make your payment via PayPal, same email. Then um, email me back and let me know you and your partner sign, etc. Four more days, people. Do it. Just kidding. Anyways, so for the vibration card, we have... It is normal for your energy to fluctuate throughout the, throughout the course of the day. When you're in the process of healing, it is easy to fall into a period of low energy. Your energy naturally lowers to assist your body or mind with healing. However, this comes with challenges and it is easy to start feeling depressed. <clears throat> this card is prompting you to raise your vibration. Raise your energy even a little will assist your healing process. Elevating your vibration can provide you with a direct link to your guides and higher self. This shift in vibration may help you receive guidance on your healing. Build up and utilize the relationship with your higher self. You will find your conscious mind can recognize and apply the information your higher self receives. As you continue to raise your vibration, you will find you have a better grasp on everything. Raise your vibrations, people. Myself included. Think of something, anything that... Um, even if it's just counting your blessings, remembering what you have, remembering um, that it's okay, that you are going to be okay, that this is going to be something like this too shall pass. You know what I'm saying? Sincere relationships is the next one. Bring your awareness to the people you surround yourself with. Toxic associations can create stress, sadness, apprehension, and other negative emotions. It is important that you are honest about how you feel about your most significant relationships. This is not limited to romantic relationships and may include an employer, a family member, or a friend who has a lot of influence in your life. Consider whether a relationship is causing you unnecessary stress. Is your social, social life a source of negativity? This exercise is not about blame. You are simply deciding how your various relationships affect your emotional energy. If there is tension in a relationship, try having a healthy conversation with the individual involved. Take responsibility for your role in this situation, but be clear on what it is you want as an outcome. Examine how you relate to the people who you meet. Having healthy relationships brings more health to your life. If a relationship is sincere, the communication is relaxed, there is, uh, is honesty, both parties feel empowered, and your life is truthfully better with this person in it. We have commit to happiness. True happiness comes from within. It is hard to be happy when everything in your life seems to be falling apart. When you're facing a crisis, you may look for an alternative way to have more energy or to be soothed. Pay attention to what you do to comfort yourself. Do you binge eat, drink excessive amounts of coffee, or go on shopping sprees? Oddly, these activities are counterproductive to achieving happiness. You may be comforted in the moment, but in the long run, you're setting yourself back. It's difficult to feel happy when you're tense, overtired, depressed, or unable to, to feel happy when... Oh, okay. Or unable to exercise due to circumstances. You may feel lost, give up hope, or as if you will never feel well enough to achieve your dreams. Your life circumstances may have changed, but it's important to find something new you can become completely absorbed in. Appreciate the good moments, up days, and the blessings in your life. Stop for a moment, a moment and reflect on the happiness of life is constantly giving you. Achieving happiness can mean working hard at being happy. Look at your situation realistically. Face the reality of your capabilities and limitations and know you can be happy. Take simple steps every day that make you feel in control and happy. It is up to you to claim your happiness. 
claim it, people. Speak it into existence. I will be happy. I'm going to be happy. This is what makes me happy. This is what I do not want. I will be happy. The next one is alternative. There are lots of alternatives to Western medicine. Consider taking a holistic approach to something troubling you at present. Holistic medicine takes care of a whole person rather than just the physical symptoms of an illness. This doesn't mean ignoring your doctor's advice. It is simply about addressing social, emotional, mental, and spiritual factors as well as physical ones. Your body is an autonomous circle. It possesses the ability to heal itself. A holistic approach to health supports your body's healing process and reinforces its innate ability to repel contingents and prevent illness contagions. <laughs> Help your body to heal itself and protect you from disease by learning to care for yourself in natural ways. Get plenty of fresh air. Be aware of, of how much time you spend indoors. Drink a healthy amount of water. Eat a good diet. Get plenty of exercise. Be sure to do something to detox your body on a regular basis. Be sure of the direction of your desires so you are not trapped by your wanderings. Essential oils and herbs may be may hold a solution for you. The next one is respect. During a healing process, it is vital to cultivate insightful awareness on your self worth. Realizing you deserve praise and love makes you more able to give praise and love. Thinking about how you can deepen your self-respect. Consider someone you respect greatly and reflect on why you feel that way. Do you love yourself unconditionally? Do you have a self-depreciating sense of humor? It really isn't okay to have fun at your own expense. Do you take good care of yourself? This includes getting enough sleep, eating well, and exercising regularly. Are you able to make decisions for yourself based on your needs and wants? When you're in a healing process, having your own outlook and developing your perspective can carry you a long way. Stand up for whatever it is you believe in in a respectful way and be respectful of people that may have differing viewpoints. By gaining experience and improving yourself, you earn the respect of others. You will also respect yourself more. Respect is not something you acquire quickly or easily, but it will be an ongoing support for your self-assurance and be unshakable. You see her crown, right? Keep her head up. You don't want your crown to fall, right? There's something that somebody needs to accept. It's about a big ass wave. <laughs> and you feel like you're just like, well, just let her fly. Just let it fall down. <laughs> but at the same time, we need to love ourselves more. We need to show kindness. Need to move away from negativity. Be aware of what we're around. And let things flow how they're supposed to flow. Things are going to happen how they're supposed to happen no matter what. We still have a lot of learning to do. And some of us need to release this storm that we've been carrying. Keep yourself surrounded by positive-minded people. And remember you have hidden blessings. That are going to help you modify your life. And get some sleep, everybody. Anyways, I love everybody. Have a good day.